A monumental crash is coming to Bitcoin's price right now. Mt. Gox is looking to drop over 200,000 Bitcoin. This is the equivalent to $7.5 billion. And now people are worried that this could send Bitcoin to new lows. I'm talking 25K, 22K. We don't know what the bottom looks like. That's exactly why today it's time to discover crypto. So I'm rushing back to my PC here after the morning show because we're getting more and more tweets coming out. And of course, more and more announcements that this Mt. Gox Bitcoin crash could just capitulate the majority of retail investors out of this market because it could push prices to things that, well, really no one ever foresaw. Check out this tweet from Whale Wire who said that Bitcoin plunged below 39K as Mt. Gox is set to commence the distribution of 200,000 Bitcoin for creditor repayments after over a decade of planning. This is worth over $7.796 billion, surpassing the value of MicroStrategies and El Salvador's Bitcoin holdings. Stating that this could lead to a monumental crash, potentially bringing prices back under still overvalued, mind you, levels like 20K. Yes, accounts with half a million followers are saying that this could be the sole cause that Bitcoin breaks all the way down through $20,000. So should we panic? What should we be doing? What levels should we be watching out for? Because if we're at 39K, we're talking about Bitcoin dropping over 50%, which would mean altcoins could very well drop 80, 70, 90% in value. So let's break this down. We have billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. We're talking the most OG holders in this space that have been holding Bitcoin for over a decade when this first got locked up. These holders are now going to be getting cash payments if they want their cash. They have to wait a little bit longer, but they're going to be receiving a massive amount of cash. And if they want Bitcoin, the company, Mt. Gox, has to then go purchase Bitcoin and send it to those holders. Now, my question for you guys would be, okay, if I am somebody that obviously this exchange got hacked, they don't have the Bitcoin at this point. If I'm somebody that wanted to sell my Bitcoin, why would I have the company go purchase Bitcoin, then send me Bitcoin so then I could sell the Bitcoin rather than just purchase the or take the cash, right? This tells me that a lot of these holders or at least the trustees that want it in Bitcoin are more than likely going to want to hold. Now, for the rest of these trustees that have been receiving it in yen, which is the Japanese yen, you can get a payout earlier from there. If you're going to be receiving it in cash, if I was somebody, this is my personal opinion, if I'm somebody that has been now through multiple market cycles and has held Bitcoin for like a decade at this point and watched it go up 99,000%, I would 100% take back that cash payment. But I would put at least 10 to 50% of that back in Bitcoin. These are the truest believers. These are people that watched it go from pennies to tens of thousands of dollars. Just remember that while everybody is going to be fear mongering, while they're all going to be questioning whether or not to purchase because Bitcoin has dropped now 30% or 25%, all coins down 40, 50%. This is because they have no idea what's actually happening in these markets. And that's, that's completely okay. But you know, are we going to see a 20K Bitcoin? Are we gonna see a 30K Bitcoin? It's, it's honestly very hard to know. We're right at the most bullish time and bullish point in Bitcoin's history. This Mt. Gox unlock everybody is fearing and fudding over actually could end up being very well bullish. Again, you have millions of Bitcoin looking to be purchased in Saudi Arabia. You have a supply chain or a supply crunch, a supply shock right around the corner as we have our Bitcoin halving. It is bullish, ETFs are out. IPOs are coming, guys. Now's the time to dollar cost average and stop panic.